You are listening to a special podcast on FIFA World Cup 2022 with senior sports journalist Esa Suryanana. Hi friends, we have analyzed the first four groups A to D and let's now go to the remaining four from E to H. Group E comprises of Costa Rica, Germany, Japan and Spain. To many, this appears to be the group of death for the simple reason that there are two former champions here, Germany and Spain, who, are not in, who have not been particularly shining in recent times in the sense that Spain didn't go beyond the group stage in 2014 and uh, Germany followed it up in 2018. Both have to show their metal this time and they are prepared for that. In this group, Japan is considered to be, can be considered to be one of the strong contenders to create upset for the simple reason that they, they, did, they, they performed so well in their qualifying pool with a seven point gap over Australia. In, uh, while Australia, Costa Rica have a recent history of creating World Cup upsets. So they have to be wary of these two, two teams. For the record, Spain is competing in its 16th World Cup and this is the 12th successive appearance and it has not missed a tournament appearance since 1974. Uh, the, 2200, the 2010 World Cup champion also has a new generation to showcase and that, that is why there is hope that it would go far, it would back to its normal mold this time. Germany, on the, other, on the other hand, has played more World Cup finals, eight in all, than any, in any, other, than any other nation and won the trophy four times. Still, it did not qualify from the, from the group in Russia 2018. And that was the first time since 1938 that they had not progressed beyond the first stage in the tournament. So even if, uh, Japan, if, even if Japan and Costa Rica are there to create upsets, it looks unlikely that uh, they, they can stop Spain and Germany to progress into the next phase. Group F has two European heavyweights in Belgium and last year's runner-up Croatia. While Canada looks to be the dark horse in this group, the other team, the fourth team is the is Morocco. Belgium best performance was in Russia la- last time when it finished third. And uh, but what is important is. It is on a 28 game unbeaten run. That is, it lost, last lost in a qualifying game in 2009. So there's something there. Croatia had finished second uh, uh, in Russia and it had a third, third place finish in 1998. These are the only two occasions in which it has reached the knockout phase of this World Cup. The only tricky part for the Croat, Croats would be that it had not played any of the countries in its group previously in the World Cup. But with Luka Modric, the golden ball winner in the last edition there, to inspire the team croatia is in safe hands or should should progress canada actually is on a comeback it it has had a dream run in the qualifiers the team has made it to the world cup for the first time since 1986 by topping the qualification table it, it in fact it recorded its biggest of victory in the men's senior international match when it beat cayman islands 11-0 in 1986 canada was eliminated in the group stage but promises to do, to go far this time. So there's something interesting there. Morocco on the other hand ended a 20 year absence from the World Cup when it re- returned to the competition in Russia. So this year it's a successive second uh, time and uh, it's the four times it, it, was, it had participated in the competition it had not gone beyond the group stage. You're hoping to do well this time. All in all this is a group where the hope is that Croatia and Belgium will make it to the next phase. Now coming to group G we have Yes, Brazil, Cameroon, Serbia and Switzerland. What can you say of Brazil, the most successful team in the World Cup, which has featured in every edition of the tournament, five times world champion. And these, the only surprise is it has not won an t- event after 2002. That's what was last. That was in the Asian region. We are back in the same region. So will that make a difference to Brazil? The loss to Argentina in the Copa America last year may not be a great uh, news for them but they are hoping to make it very memorable this time 
Serbia did well in the European qualifiers with an eight match unbeaten run even pushing Portugal into the playoffs and uh, but uh, its record in the World Cup has not been impressive it has not gone beyond the group stage in uh, 2010 it did surprise Germany and in the last in the last uh, World Cup in Russia for you the only win it had was against Costa Rica but it's a team to watch Switzerland could be the team to watch out for it finished the european qualification uh, with a by topping the group which had italy in it and without a single loss and conceding just two goals in his last five world cup appearances switzerland have made it to the last four, 16 four times so while brazil will probably smoothly move move into the next phase the which will be the second team has to be decided among cameroon serbia and switzerland cameroon again is a team which has made more appearance at the fifa than any other country from africa it's an inter- it's a very skillful side it finished third in the african nations cup in last year cameroon had come to the knockout phase once in 1990 but have but haven't done that thereafter finally group h comprises of portugal ghana south korea and uruguay portugal will be playing its sixth consecutive world cup and there is an additional interest because skipper cristiano ronaldo will be playing his fifth world cup and like messi there's so much of importance surrounding him the, but still the, the team struggled in the qualifying in fact it, it had to go, it went into the playoff and had to beat north macedonia to get into this tournament portugal will be facing a stiff competition against uruguay these are the two teams that are expected to move into the next phase but both ghana and south korea cannot be underestimated ghana's best performance came in 2010 when it became the third african side to to move, to go into the quarter final stage korea on the other hand is on a on a high it's making its 10th appearance in a row since 1986 Five of its wins, six wins in the tournaments, have been against European sides, and one of them was Portugal. And so that that, that in 2002 it finished fourth, by far the best performance by a nation team in the tournament. Uruguay, as we know, has been a winner of the World Cup twice, but was early in early times. But thereafter, thereafter it fell off. Still, it reached the semi-finals thrice, and the the last was in 2010 in in South Africa. interesting aspect about uruguay is that it has met all the countries now in its group and have won against them taking all this into account still it should be uruguay that like company brazil into the next phase it all said and done it's easy to of course predict the the teams that can qualify but then this is a tournament where surprises and shocks can be many and that is why a world cup is special always special